why aren't there automation systems for pool chemicals? And I mean like automation systems that just entirely take care of it, not like a little bit take care of it. The, the short answer is calibration is the technical challenge and maybe also tack on to that liability. So consider a situation here where a company makes a of a system. It's going to measure all of your pool chemistry and it's going to make recommendations on the fly. And let, let's say it's even going to go ahead and make those additions to the water. So it's doing its thing and it's measuring, oh, and it's, it measures, oh, we're low on chlorine. I better add some chlorine to the water. And it keeps doing that and it keeps doing that because it's a robot and it doesn't know any better. It just keeps doing so. But what if there was like an instrumentation error or a problem with one of the probes or a mouse chewed through a wire and something's wrong and it's getting a feedback signal that's incorrect and it's dosing with chlorine when chlorine is not needed and for whatever reason it's not able to recognize that it's too much chlorine in the pool and it just keeps doing it, keeps doing it. And then little Billy or little Sally jumps into the pool and they get chemical burns or worse. You know, that is the problem right there is there's a huge liability associated with chemical conditions controllers and on the commercial level kind of you know chem pool chemical dosing systems do exist but then there's somebody that is paid to be the maintenance person and the person who calibrates the instrument it's and more importantly the person who goes along and double checks manually human intervention double checks chemistry of surge tanks and swimming pools and hot tubs and things like that to make sure that these chemical controllers are doing what they're supposed to do and that's how we know that they're not really ready to just be fully automated because there's always failures, man. not always failures. There's failures to be found in these systems. And that's why there are these double checks in place for human intervention to go in and check all of this stuff. So that is the limitation for chemical automation for swimming pools at the residential level right now. It comes down to calibration of the Im instruments for the technical reason, and then the liability and the limitation of liability associated with offering these things which are going to chemically maintain a sanitized water environment and definitely not make it you know an environment that's got too much or too little or the ph is wrong and you know there, there's all kinds of problems and i think that's the main uh, roadblock that every company has reached so far when trying to introduce these products because i do believe that the technology exists to to do this. And I think that's probably why you're asking this question, like, why is this hard to find? Because we should be able to do this. I agree, we probably should be able to do this. If liability weren't a thing, we probably would be doing this. I expect one day we will. Right now, I don't think we're quite there yet, though we are close. But more or less, I tell people, if you want full automation, you're just trading one form of service for another. It used to be you go out and you do a little bit of measurement and manual addition of chemicals to your water. Now you f add a full automation suite to your pool, but you have to go out and you have to double check stuff, manually adjust things, add chlorine or acid to the tanks, uh, make sure that the hoses and stunner pumps, everything's running good. Like you have to just trade one form of maintenance for another. And the one that you're giving up is easier than the one that you're adopting. And so that's kind of why I tell people full automation just isn't there for pool and spas yet. Full automation is very simple. You just write a check to a service company and they take care of your pool and spa for you. That's what full automation looks like as of right now. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.